Eda Deniz Haydaroğlu is on day 70 of a hunger strike resistance against the fascist 129 AB law in Germany. Ilgun Güler and Sevil Sevimli are also continuing their resistance with Eda. To mark the 70th day, the hunger strikers and many people came together to put henna on their hands, a tradition to celebrate resistance. The fascist 129 AB laws are being used by German imperialism to jail and oppress revolutionaries from Turkey. On May 24, the fascist police in Turkey carried out raids against the Families Association for Solidarity with Prisoners, Tayyad, and also arrested people from the street. Eight people were detained, three of them were jailed, while the others were released with judicial control. Anti-imperialist front took part in the resistance festival in Brussels in support of the Palestinian resistance and confronting 75 years of Nakba, occupation and racism. A stand was opened where Anti-Imperialist Front talked about his campaigns and had talks about the ongoing resistance in Turkey against imperialism and fascism. Protesters took to the streets of Hiroshima to raise their voices in opposition to the imperialist G7 summit being held in the city. Signs were seen with no G7 imperialist summit, no nuclear war and never allow US-Japanese aggressive war on China. Several protesters were arrested by riot police. Aytan Öztürk, who was subjected to torture and sexual harassment in a secret black site in Turkey in 2018, has been under house arrest for two years. She was abducted from Lebanon in 2018 by Turkish intelligence and tortured for six months in a black site, then jailed and then put in house arrest. She marks two years in house arrest this week. The Fight Against Drugs Symposium will be held in Athens with international speakers. Talks will be held about the struggle against drugs and how drugs are a weapon of imperialism against the working class and the revolutionaries.